For over 20 years, Sean Rogers struggled to manage his weight as his diabetes symptoms worsened. By just dieting and uh, continuing the cycle with the insulin, uh, I was never going to lose the amount of weight I needed to lose to change the whole cycle and get the diabetes in really good control. With a body mass index of just 35, Sean didn't think he was a candidate for bariatric surgery. BMI is not a really a fair or accurate representation of who should be getting therapy. Dr. Stacy Brethauer at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center says the criteria for bariatric surgery are outdated and arbitrary. While someone with a BMI of 35 is approved, the next person with uncontrolled diabetes and a BMI of 34 may be denied. The patient who doesn't get the operation, we know very well that their, their, their disease will progress, their lifespan will be shortened uh, if they don't get effective treatment. That disease progression can include diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. And just like any other chronic disease, the best method for prevention is to intervene early. Continuing to increase their insulin requirements and um, provide them medical therapy is not going to change the trajectory of the disease. It just doesn't. Um, and surgery does. Unfortunately, many still believe that obesity is only a problem of willpower and that patients can take it upon themselves to fix it. No one asks somebody with cancer or heart disease to just to do it themselves. They have to participate in their care and do the right things, but there's you know, also effective therapy being offered to those patients at the same time. Since his surgery, Sean has lost 120 pounds, is off all oral medications, and has gone from nearly 500 units of insulin a day to about 10. It's changed my life so much I would you know, have anyone do it. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.